Hey guys, and welcome to another reaction video. What the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> Today I'm continuing with season 8 of My Little Pony. Still have to catch up. So yeah, this is episode 4. Fake it till you make it. I got nothing. Some It's probably some, again, an episode where somebody just starts lying. And then lies more and more and more. Uh... And then at the end it comes out that everything would have been fine if they just tell the truth. Uh, that could be what this episode is about. But it might also be something else. Something about faking it till you either get what you want or you can't possibly fake anymore. I don't know. I don't know who could do it. Maybe a CMC episode. Maybe something totally different. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. Or, I, or the title is just a reference again and I'm just not getting Guess there's only one way to find out for sure. Three, two, one, click. Ah, a new reservoir. Don't worry, Angel. I won't forget you. Are those strawberries? Oh goodness, Rarity, what's the matter? Oh, a better question would be, what isn't the matter? Oh dear, do you want to have some lettuce and talk about it? Uh, oh, I would love to, darling, but I just don't have the time. The Cantalot Royal Fashion Show is practically upon us. And the cornerstone piece of my collection just isn't working! That sounds serious. Oh, it's serious. The entire collection is designed around it! Do you need help knitting? I've started making tea cozies. It's an elephant. Yes, well, I don't need help making clothes. Sassy Saddles is pitching in. Plus, I'll be pulling all three of my Manhattan assistants. All three? Does that mean you'll have to close Rarity for you? That's just it, darling. This is Manhattan's busiest shopping season. And I can't just close the shop. So I was hoping you might consider running it? Of course. I'm happy to help. Though I'm surprised you picked me. Well, I may have asked a few others. Sorry, but... That's just... Show coming up. That just doesn't seem like a good idea. That might work, but nope. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Pick me, really, really, really. Calendar's packed, but I hear Fluttershy's free, and you haven't asked Boulder. Uh, uh. <laughs> it doesn't matter who else I asked, because I couldn't be happier that you. Why didn't she ask Fluttershy earlier? <laughs> I mean, she does know stuff about fashion, right? I remember there being a thing in back, way back in season one. We haven't seen a lot of the new school yet. Like, if it's if it's even featured in the new intro, you'd think it's probably so important that it will appear a couple of times. So. I am looking forward to that. That might be interesting. I think I forgot how big this shop was. How do you find anything? Oh, darling, it's easy to track. The store is divided into sections. Chic, classic, modern, sophisticated, avant-garde, traditional, and obtuse. Okay. And, of course, each section is divided by season, color, and price. It's a classic SCP system. Then it's just a little ring and ponies up. A little fluff and fold. Voila! But, of course, that's the easy part. <gasps> it is? Mm -hmm. As you well know, the real focus at Rarity for you is on the customer. Care to give it a try? Um... Okay. Hello. Um, welcome to Rarity for you. What can I help you with? I need something classic but modern. 
modern, something with drama, but also understated. Um, aren't all those things opposites? Yes, so? But how can I... I'm sorry, are you asking me how to do your job? No, but I just, um... Jesus. I'm thinking noir-esque minimalist, but with a twist. Perhaps a tapered hem. It's like you read my mind. Are you a fashion psychic? I do not like that city. I just don't. They're all awful. Just in every way. Well, not in every way. They're not ugly. Oh, darling, come now. You conquered your shyness a thousand times over. Yeah, just these ponies are absolute assholes. Uh. Meditation? Oh, power posing works wonders whenever I feel intimidated. Try these. Confident warrior. Gold medalist. Do pony. Mm, or not. We need to leave now if we're going to catch the train to Canterlot. Oh goodness, look at the time. Yes, 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 yes. Go, go. I'm right behind you. You're not gonna be here? In your workroom? But darling, I simply can't. The fashion show is in Canterlot tomorrow, and I'll be up all night, even with the help of all of my assistants. <clears throat> well, not <sighs> all my assistants. Smokey! Soft pad! Smokey Jr! <clears throat> Ever since you convinced me to let them live in the shop, these beastly sweeties have been nothing but helpful. And I'm sure they'll help me let my inner strength shine through. Oh, I wish I could stay and offer more help. <gasps> Why not try a new outfit? Think of it as a costume for your role as shop pony. You know what they say, clothes make the pony. Um, who says that? You know, them. Them. You and your furry friends will do just fine. Ta -ta! Bye. <sighs> I hope she's right. Sup? Here goes nothing. <laughs> Welcome to Rarity for You. What can I help you with? What's the thread count of this shirt? I can't be seen in anything less than a thousand. Um. Thread count? Um, oh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, excuse me for just one second. <sighs> oh, I'm afraid I don't know enough about fashion to satisfy these customers. What am I gonna do? Just say yes. Oh, I've never tried to act before, but. I suppose it's worth a shot. <clears throat> Severe, but not unapproachable. Acceptable business attire. Oh, does that sound like a shop pony to you? <sighs> so sorry for the wait. The shop has some staffing issues today. Yes, well, I still haven't had an answer on this thread count. Here at Rarity for You, our merchandise defies typical attempts to quantify its quality, but rest assured it will make you the envy of all who see it. Oh, in that case, I'll take three. Well done! <laughs> Bye, GTFO sucker. You did well, though. Oh, Smokey Junior, I can't believe it worked. I suppose that could be taken out of context. But don't, no, don't let it get to your head, please. I don't know about you, but I have a full day of shopping planned, and if even one shop pony isn't up to my standards, well, I shall make my displeasure quite plain. Oh, 
you are wicked. <laughs> you people are well, you ponies are awful. Sup? Darling, I'm afraid I can't stop. Potential emergency at the boutique. Oh, well, whatever it is, I'm quite certain the pony you left in charge can handle it. Oh, she's simply divine. Oh, well, I always knew Fluttershy had it in her. <laughs> and there's still time to catch the train to Cantalot. It's a unique play on the old standard we call it a rarity cup with a triple cross a berry punch recolor <laughs> don't you mean chevron if i had meant chevron then that's what i would have said bitch <laughs> <laughs> of course it's so unique so in vogue it must be mine <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I feel like I should push the snootiness further. No, uh, uh, <laughs> why are you doing well? Never touch a running system. <laughs> that looked kind of awful, but it might just be tea. Accessories bold and shiny, and I'm just not seeing anything nearly bold and shiny enough. I'm afraid bold and shiny won't work with your whole model. Perhaps pointy. Pointy? Yes! I must have pointy! <laughs> what? Not every pony can pull off a found object, but you nearly get there. I need like a red carpet glitz and glamour gown that's also casual but like still artsy and a total head turner. Yes, casual chic prêt à porter is very branché this season. Uh, like I don't understand any of that, so like I don't care about it. Um, one moment, please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think I need a new character. <laughs> really okay, not. I've got like this high key savage look for you. It's a totally live ensemble with the little like thingies that sparkle and make the whole squad go. Don't! No! Please stop it. That looks like exactly what I need. This store is a desperate wasteland of nothingness. Do you have anything in black? Oh, this got to be awesome. <laughs> Can you like chill for one sec? BRB. Oh my god. It's not like the utility of shopping. Oh my mean, god. <laughs> and metal studs, but they help. Uh, uh that jacket completes me. <laughs> <laughs> This tea's like lukewarm, it's barely drinkable. This tea must always be at a precise temperature. See that it doesn't happen again! Jesus! Whoa, that color is like almost too lit for you. The blackness of this vest is a reflection of your soul. This hemline is nothing short of an inspiration of craft's ponyship. Are you sure you deserve it? Jesus. Yep. Now you've got too far. It appears so! You're not the best either. So, Rarity is busy at an important fashion show, and Fluttershy is running her shop in Manhattan, but to do it, she's playing different shop pony characters that are all mean? How in the world did you figure that out, Spike? 
I'm not Dragon Charade's champion for nothing. I can't imagine Fluttershy would ever be mean to her animal friends. This sounds serious. Spike, tell everyone it's time to head back to Saddle Row. I wouldn't think it was possible to make something so dowdy, even more matronly, but here you are. Jeez. It's like a scream in the void, empty and ultimately meaningless. I would seriously help you right now, but like, I don't wanna, you know? Wow. <laughs> you were kidding. This is worse than we thought. She's being horrible to every pony. <laughs> Uh, are you sure that's even Fluttershy? Maybe it's just three really, really fast ponies that really, really look like her. Well, let's find out. Hey, Fluttershy, are you running the shop or performing in a one-pony show? If you don't mind, I can only improve the taste of one customer at a time. You have to wait your turn. Oh, honestly, these <laughs> small-town ponies she <laughs> behave any way they please. What? A small town pony, and your car uh. isn't even in the town. <laughs> Look, Fluttershy, we came here because we were worried and we care about you. Let's get out of this aura of positivity before it consumes us. As fun as this Fluttershy switcheroo game is, Smokey Smokey Jr. and Soft Pat are really concerned. Yeah, they came all the way to Ponyville to get us. They should have, like, stayed there. This shop is like a no rodent zone now. <gasps> she called them rodents? Fluttershy, I understand why you think you have to act this way for these customers. But there's got to be a better way. Goodness, you are so right. Please, step this way so that we may discuss your concerns. I knew you'd come to your senses. And... Wow. Indeed. Wait it out, maybe, and uh, <laughs> we just got them. Oh, done this some tented point. piece of my right. collection, and it's still not right. Oh, darling, I'm afraid we've literally run out of time. It's up to you. Go out there and sell it. Now, attitude. <laughs> Understand. When I left Fluttershy, she had everything well in hold. Well, things might have seemed all right when you left, but they're definitely not all right now. She's acting worse than the worst Manhattan that I ever saw. True. She kicked us out of the shop. She called Smokey, Smokey Junior, and Soft Pat rodents. Oh, but, but, rodents? <laughs> but why didn't you say that from the start? She obviously <laughs> tell. Come on. <laughs> I like it that that's what gives it away. I mean. It's true. I get it. Your melancholy is way too shallow for a look with this much unfeeling depth. Huh. Huh. Ugh! Your style isn't even on the same page. Turn away. Don't even look at it, okay? <gasps> I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> It was bad. Bad? This is worse than I could have possibly imagined. Rarity, I'm so glad you're here. Finally, a pony who understands that the couture in this shop is far too brilliant to even consider selling. What? You like totally get how lame customers are? Watching them leave filled me with a sweet sadness. And you'll be pleased to hear that I've taken care of your rodent situation. Will somebody tell her to stop saying that? That's it! Fluttershy, I'm afraid you've left me no choice. You are terminated! Well, good luck replacing me! <laughs> well, thankfully I... <laughs> I always thought she was too controlling. You, you, you are too Okay. Too Whatever. Now I... I know, right? I mean, uh, um, uh, actually, you're, like, totally 
terminated as well. Like, okay. <sighs> well, I'm glad that's over. That I guess I owe every pony an apology. That was quick. I, I got so caught up trying to please all of your customers that... What customers? I might have taken my sales pony characters a little too far. Yeah, it seemed like... I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. You know I was, I was like, right? borderline split personality disorder. Well, at least they are very forgiving. Why do you think you needed to be some pony else to run the shop? I guess acting like the ponies of Saddle Row gave me the confidence to interact with them. Darling, I'd never trust some horrible Saddle Row pony to run my shop. That's why I wanted a friend to do it. Well, I'd definitely rather be myself anyway, even if I don't exactly have what it takes to be a shop pony. I wouldn't sell yourself short. Those sales pony characters all came from you. Yeah, I think you totally have what it takes. Maybe a little too much. Indeed, you have all the inner strength you need, but I think we prefer it coming from our sweet, regular Fluttershy. <laughs> yeah. And that's just given me the inspiration I'm looking for. And last one, there. The missing piece for my new collection. The warrior of inner strength. Oh, it's lovely, Rarity. I'm just sorry you had to leave the Canterlot Royal Fashion Show early. Oh, darling, making the perfect dress is scads more satisfying than showing it off. Oh, yeah. I guess. Ooh, striking dress, Rarity. I certainly hope you aren't trying to undercut the royal fashion show by ducking out and debuting it here. What? No, I, I have you considered the possibility that the royal fashion show is trying to undercut rarities by continuing on in Canterlot and not moving the whole affair here? Hmm? Have you? Huh? I, uh, no. <coughs> huh, just as I thought. <coughs> <laughs> Inner strength. <laughs> okay then. Okay, yeah, this was an episode. This was sort of a mixed bag for me. There were some really funny, really good moments in there that really had me laughing. And there were also moments that I didn't like as much that were just kind of... Especially in the beginning, it was sort of boring, not very interesting to me, uh, personally. Uh, yeah, every now and then there were just moments that I kind of didn't like. I'm not sure if I like the premise of the episode. Uh, it's not... It's not the regular Fluttershy learns how to be like assertive and uh, inner strength and shit. That, you know, that the show has been criticized about quite a lot because they've been doing that over and over again. It's not that. It's this uh, more something about, yes, she does have inner strength, but she needs to be careful with it because there's uh, such a thing as too assertive and just being rude. I think it makes sense for her to learn that too. It does. So, I... D yeah, I guess it's not a bad premise. I don't know if I like the execution quite as much. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it, it's just... I guess it's not my thing. Uh, I, I, I don't dislike the episode, don't get me wrong. It's okay. Probably not something I'm gonna rewatch very often. More likely one of the episodes that I'm gonna skip if I rewatch this season. Which I might eventually. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's an okay episode. I thought it was alright. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of. Yeah. Hmm. She 
hang on. I don't know how to say it. She kind of stuck to these characters a little too much to my liking. It seemed a little bit... Yeah, not quite sane, <laughs> if you get what I mean. I, I think I said it before, borderline split personality. Uh, probably just a joke. I doubt that they're ever going to elaborate on that. Uh, it was a little bit weird. But, sure, why not, okay. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, like I said, I, I said it in the beginning, they changed the intro quite a lot. I said it in the first episode, uh, in the last episode, this third episode of this season. They changed the intro quite a lot, like more than they usually do. And now the school seems to be a pretty big role, at least in the intro. And to me, that, yeah, just because of that, I would expect the school to play a big role in this season too. Not just in the finale, I hope, because I would like to see that again. Uh, it was an interesting concept, but they have to make it work. If they just leave it there, it's just kind of why. There's so much opportunity there. Um, I I doubt that they will do that. I, I think they're going to do at least a couple episodes about the school. Maybe in the finale. Maybe not. Not sure. But yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, looking forward to it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's everything I have to say. So, I guess I just end the video right here. So, I hope you guys like this little commentary. And I'll see you next time. Bye.